Well, hi there. Welcome to sunny Florida. We have just arrived because we're going to Animal Con to ask many of your favorite YouTube creators the most important question in the world. Yay, Florida! <laughs> My name is Brian Cusco, and shortly after this video, I'm going to teach Clint a little thing about having a dinosaur for a reptile mic raphone, and we're going to up your dino mic game. You've got an even better dinosaur than this one? Bro. <laughs> What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh my gosh, favorite dinosaur in raw? T-Rex, man. He's the king. Absolutely. Yeah. My favorite dinosaur as well? Yeah. I mean, you, they, I've learned about so many more dinosaurs, especially with my kids, like learning more about dinosaurs, like more dinosaurs than I ever knew ever existed in my entire life. And they're all very cool and they're all very new and flashy, mm -hmm. but they ain't T-Rex, bro. I agree 100%. I, I wish I had a more obscure favorite dinosaur, but he's just the coolest one. He is. He's the king for a reason. Absolutely. Well, this guy, we found him here at Animal Con USA. We have one really important question we're asking everybody. Okay. If it's an important question, I bet I know what it is. What is it? What is my favorite dinosaur? That is correct. Did I get it? You got it. <laughs> my favorite dinosaur would be Ankylosaurus. I just think they're awesome. It, it's like a pig and a tortoise mixed together. The pigs are fun to roll around in the mud with if we know anything from social media. <laughs> and tortoises are so cute and cool. So I would go Ankylosaurus. But if I had to, like, keep one... As a pet, oh, this is a, a I have always dreamed. Are you into cryptozoology at all? Absolutely. Yeah, it's fun to think about. So I, I always heard rumors about pterosaurs still being alive in Papua. So I think it would be cool to like go find one of those, some kind of thing like that, discover that, and keep that forever. That would be cool, but that is, of course, not a dinosaur. Well, that's true. Yeah, I was going to go Archaeopteryx, but to be honest, I don't know which ones are dinosaurs and not anymore. So. All the lizard hips seem like bird-like, and all the bird hips seem lizard-like. Your, your dinosaur that you just mentioned is my favorite bird hip dinosaur, which is, of course, not the dinosaurs more closely related to birds. Yeah, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, not a zoologist. I'm Dave Kaufman. The Dave Kaufman. Yes. I have one hard-hitting question I'm asking everybody here today. Tell me. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? My favorite dinosaur and why is probably the Stegosaurus. And I'll tell you why. Because I think it was my favorite as a kid, right? Yes. But I always love seeing all those images of a Stegosaurus fighting a T-Rex. Mm -hmm. And they were separated by about 150 million years. More time than the separation between us and T-Rex. Exactly. And so I always kind of giggle when I see that. But I think the Stegosaurus. An excellent, excellent choice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. People that support us. So, I, that's what the event is for. You gotta give value to that community, right? There's a, something that Jerry Seinfeld said about comedians that I've always really liked, which is that one of the things he loves about comedy is that the great ones always make it. He started making videos, and if you put them out there, and they're halfway decent, I can tell you my first videos are virtually unwatchable. Um, but people will find them. But this thing about passion, that's everything, because this is a, a, a long, hard journey that has no reward for who knows how long. And, and you've got to go consider, like, YouTube's unforgiving. You know, if you create a, a show for Netflix, it's like eight episodes a season. I'm like 52 minimum. Uh, you know, like, like, and that, you know, I was really excited when we were making $10 a week. You know, that's how it is. And so if you don't love it, you're not going to make it, but if you love it and you create something of value, it will be found. Woo, 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 woo. My name's Kerry Molinaro from the Molinaro Snake Lab. And, and Kerry, this is the big question. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? My favorite dinosaur has to be the Philosal Raptor because they're incredibly intelligent. They work in teams, some teamwork. Um, they're fast. They could be sweet, but they could be deadly. Absolutely. It's, it's an incredible animal. Incredible. Uh, I love it. Now, now I, I do have a, a follow-up question on that one. Now, when you say Velociraptor yeah. is your favorite, do you mean Velociraptor mongoliensis, the one, the little one that's like the size of a dog, or do you mean Deinonychus from Montana in that area, the one that's depicted in Jurassic Park? No. Uh, 
I'm, I'm going to go with the bigger one from okay, Mon- yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Montana version. That is a very reasonable favorite pet dinosaur. Yeah. I love it. Or not pet dinosaur, <laughs> favorite I, I dinosaur. I keep one as a pet. Maybe the little one I keep as yeah, a pet. Yeah, I would rather have a Velociraptor <laughs> Mongoliensis as a pet. Original 1993 Jurassic oh, yeah. Park I re- toy. Trust me, I recognize it. I grew up with those. You want to see something bonkers in my opinion? That's nice. Those are original batteries. Those are the original batteries. These are 30 year old batteries. And it still works. I didn't know that until yesterday when I went to find it. Here we are. Would you mind introducing yourself? Hi, I'm Tanner from the Serpent Design YouTube channel. I specialize in primarily naturalistic enclosure design. I do some wacky things sometimes too. And I just like to push the boundary of what what and how people are keeping these animals and just kind of like inspiring people. Probably the, probably the best enclosure builds anywhere on the platform. But I have a, a really important question for you today. Hard hitting? Yes. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? I would say that my favorite dinosaur is those ones that spit. I literally, literally, that, is that this? That's this. They probably didn't actually do that, but this is it. Dilophosaurus. I, I laughed because I'm very unlearned in the in the uh, dinosaur space. What I know, T-Rex, maybe Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, Triceratops. You're doing so much better than most people because all of those are actual dinosaurs. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. What do people normally say? Oh, there's all kinds. Of, I have entire videos about things that people answer this question and they give me sure. things that aren't dinosaurs. I mean, how about a how about a crocodile or a chicken? Chicken, yes. Dino, uh, crocodile, no. No, not crocodile. But, but chicken could totally okay. be your favorite chicken. dinosaur. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Would you introduce yourself a little bit? Because I'm a huge fan of your channel, but nobody knows who you are by face. Okay, so my name's Dr. Plants. Well, well, I'm known as Dr. Plants, but my name is actually Jaron, and I've been doing this for about two years now. And big fan of Clint, by the way. So, what do you have to ask me? So I have a very, very important question. I've been asking it to a lot of people. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? My favorite dinosaur is probably the Ankylosaurus. It's just so girthy and just powerful. I love it. That, that is my favorite Ornithischian dinosaur. Oh, really? I, 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 and Leisha's favorite dinosaur as well. So you have chosen wisely. Thank you. I'm hey. so glad. Hello, sir. Hi, so, buddy. some beautiful work you're doing there. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself? My name is Tyler Nolan. How do you do? I'm asking just one question. So, what is your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh man, favorite dinosaur is gonna have to be a uh, dude, a Velociraptor. Okay, now question, follow up. Every five-year-old's answer also. Velociraptor Mongoliensis from Mongolia, the true Velociraptor, or the one depicted in Jurassic Park, Deinonychus. Whoa, I'm going to have to go the Jurassic Park one, Blue. Excellent, excellent choice, excellent choice. She's a girl. She's awesome. And why is that? I don't know. She's just such a friendly dinosaur. I love friendly animals, you know? I'm, sh- I'm sure that's what your experience would be like with the Deinonychus. Yeah, they could be dangerous, but hopefully you can make them nice, you know? Yeah. Just like Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> I might look scary, but I'm not. <laughs> Uh, my name is Adam Wickens. I'm from Wickens Wicked Reptiles, and I am uh, from Canada also. Don't hold it against me. Okay, well, I have one really important question for you. One really poor answer. Uh, what is your favorite dinosaur and why? Hmm. I think Dave Kaufman is my favorite dinosaur, and the reason is because of his beautiful mane and his ability to get through airports securely and quickly without getting too upset. So I think that uh, for that reason, Dave Coffin is my favorite dinosaur. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And then if you had to pick a second favorite. Oh. I would say probably, uh, I know it's like boring, but a Velociraptor, because they were small, right? Smaller than most people think. Yes. Like the size of a chicken. Yeah. So I feel like I could overpower it. And I feel like I couldn't overpower too many dinosaurs, Clint. So I feel like I kind of am like a Velociraptor in a human skin because I scream really loud and I'm the size of a chicken. And therefore, Velociraptors are my favorite raptors. I actually, I was going to ask you, any, anytime somebody says Velociraptor, I'm like, real Velociraptor or the bigger one, Deinonychus, that's in the in the movies? And yeah, I, you... you 
you already knew what you were talking about. So you like the the Velociraptor Mongoliensis. Yes. It uh, stands about about yay tall. You wouldn't want to fight one, but you could probably win. Uh, I like it. That's true. Do you want to hear the mating call that I think they make? Uh, do, yes. It's like that. I think that's the mating call. That's a female one, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And and the male. <laughs> Oh, yes. It's different. Do you hear the difference? That's yeah. important. So anyway, that's my favorite dinosaur, and they're a mating call. I love it. Yeah. My name is Kevin McCurley, and I own New England Reptile Distributors. Okay, now this is my big question. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. I haven't thought about this for a long time since I was a kid. Isn't that a shame? Uh, yeah, it actually is. I, you know what? I thought it was the brontosaurus because it was this big ridiculous herbivore that was huge and nothing was like killing them because they were so huge and stuff like that versus everybody's like, you know, T-Rex, but that means that T-Rex has to eat all the other dinosaurs and stuff like that. So I think I like the big brontosaurus. I never, you, you caught me cold and, and I don't know, I don't know if that's always going to sit with me, but for right now, I guess, I you, guess. You can have a moment to, to process that, but I, I appreciate the fact that you at least gave me an animal that is a dinosaur. Oftentimes I get things that aren't dinosaurs at all, so no, that, was a, that was a dang good so answer. Was a, so when I was a kid, I was always like, look how big they are. Like, this is a school bus, and this is how many school buses it takes to equate that. And they're so huge, but they're just sitting there peacefully eating vegetation. So I guess... Not that I'm a pacifist, but I like when animals are pacifists and they're not killing each other. Because you're always watching things like, okay, here's a triceratops being eaten by, you know, a, a T-Rex or something. like that. And I'm like, no, but I like the T-Rex the and the triceratops and all that stuff. So I think as a kid, I didn't want to watch dinosaurs killing each other. Uh, I love, and you're, you're a delightful guy that handles, handles reptiles. You want a delightful reptile that could handle you. I think so. Yeah. I yeah. love it. <laughs> My name is Dion Ceylani, and I go by Reptiliatus on socials. I love your microphone. Thank you very much. Um, my question for you is, what's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh, that's a really hard question. It is. Um, I think maybe uh, Albertosaurus. Because you're Canadian? Yeah. And it's also like a really cool species. Correct me if I'm wrong. Albertosaurus is very similar to Allosaurus, no? I, I think I it's a Tyrannosaurid. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Which I is mean, cooler. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, yes, I have to rep Canada, of course. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I really like those large predatory <laughs> dinosaurs i mean i could be kind of not cliche and say velociraptor because they're just fascinating and everything we do know about them is like their ability to hunt in packs and i like the developing knowledge about the feathers and everything and they don't look the way we perceive them in jurassic park you know and that that form of like perception is really interesting to just see how things are changing and the type of media that comes out about those animals but allosaurus or albertosaurus <laughs> I'm like, that came out of left field. My name is Johnny Venom, and I'm sponsored by Venom Life Gear. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Ooh. Ah, oh, man. Favorite dinosaur. I'd have to say a living one right now. So, uh, any polyapterus. And, 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 and for our, our viewers who are not familiar with scientific names? A bisher. Or a dinosaur eel. You can get a common dinosaur eel at PetSmart, Petco, but they get into different species like Congus congus that are bigger, much larger, and they're fully living fossils, like armor-plated dinosaur fish. They are absolutely bodacious. My one, my one concern is that they're not true dinosaurs. However, there are some dinosaurs alive now. Forget what the word is. Just all of the birds. Oh yes, you are correct. But then that's going to send everyone into a ruffle because. From what I understand, a lot of people are going to take reptiles and reclassify them as birds or birds into reptiles. Bird, birds totally need to be reptiles, and that will ruffle a few feathers, but I'm okay with that. That's true. Do you have a favorite bird? Um, I would have to say like an osprey. Ooh, ospreys are rad. We've got some by our house. Watching them fish, mm -hmm. unreal. Ospreys, unreal. Yeah. I am Tarantula Cat. And I have one just really important question for you. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? birds because I don't know the others <laughs>
Uh, my name is Dingo Dinkelman, and I'm very nervous about this interview because it's hard hitting. As you should be. Uh, okay, here's the big question. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has to be. He, he's the greatest. Like, he's the OG of dinosaurs. He eats everything. I don't know about all these new colossal this and that. No, no, no. It's always T-Rex. It's always been T-Rex. Always will be T-Rex. Fact. Oh, no. I, I, I hate that T-Rex is my favorite because I want something obscure that nobody's heard. No, he's the no, coolest right. thing he's that's ever coolest. lived on the planet. And then you watch the Jurassic movies and then they've got these other g g g g and not, it's still T-Rex. Oh, yeah. And T-Rex protects the people and then he, he eats a few people too. Of course. But he's T-Rex. It's like a great white shark. They, they cannot be better in the, in the dinosaur kingdom. These are all the facts. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, I'm Lori Barjack, Brian's wife. Um... Yeah, that's and me. you've done an absolutely <laughs> incredible job. She's like, I'm pretty sure the brains and the brawn behind all of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do the a little. I do a little. So that's <laughs> Sorry about my voice, by the way, but I have a, a really important hard-hitting question. Okay. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Mm. Um, I'm not prepared for this question, so <laughs> it puts me off guard. So I guess I'm going to go with a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Now, I do have some terrible news about pterodactyl. Is it not a dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur. Really? Do you have a backup? Hmm. Pterodactyl, pterodactyl is an archosaur. And they're, I think, wow. at least after this the is... Triassic, they were the closest living okay. relatives to dinosaurs that weren't dinosaurs. Okay. See, I've never been a dinosaur oh. person, well, so I just thought everything was. But okay. It was like five so... years ago that I realized that my knowledge of dinosaurs had totally plateaued when I was 10 years old. Yeah. And I was like, I got to go back to learning about dinosaurs because they're the coolest things that have ever lived. Apparently. So, okay, if I'm going to pick another one, I'm going to go with... Uh, Brontosaurus. That's a very, very good choice. Okay, that's good. I'm well, right. and, okay. and, and, and Brontosaurus, <laughs> for some, and I need to understand why still, but for a long time, they had kind of deleted Brontosaurus. Really? And they said it, that it was just an apatosaurus, but in the last few years, oh goodness, they've, I, they've decided that there's a, a significant enough difference between apatosaurus and some others that are Brontosaurus, that Brontosaurus is back. Okay, well, that makes me feel good. At least that... I am so confused. I had no idea. <laughs> this is this is taking me back to where Pluto is no longer a planet, and I'm like, oh. no, you can't do this. No, you can't, you can't do that to Pluto. That, that are you know what they are, but uh, I'm glad you like my my choice. Oh, it's a great choice. Uh, I am Will Nace. I own a uh, non or I run a nonprofit called Nace Reptile and Conservation Center in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, we've been operational for about a year, but not open to the public just yet. This is my big and important question: What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Ooh, Brontosaurus, because of the height. And I'm not standing, so you won't get that right now. Hey. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm a little tall. So. Yeah, and I'm not that short. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm Brian Barczyk. Uh, I'm so uh, grateful that you're here. I've been a fan of your work forever, and uh, we've never had a chance to meet. Nope, this is so, the first. Uh, so this is amazing for me, and, uh, and and I'm so grateful you're here. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm, I, yeah, I'm just loving this. Okay, this is the big question. All right, I'm ready. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh, my gosh, my favorite dinosaur. You know, um... Yeah, I, I really like brachiosauruses. Uh, I think it's their, their uh, timid nature and, and just they look so darn cute, you know what I mean? Like I think that if I ever, you know, but it's so hard, you know what I mean? I, I, so I was a dinosaur guy when I was a kid, you mm -hmm. know? So like, like I was into all of just, I, I played with dinosaur toys my entire life. And um, so that's what kind of started my love of reptiles in a way. Oh, yes, but, uh, but I've always been kind of the idea of, this big cuddly I think they'd be cuddly and cute maybe they wouldn't be maybe they you know they're they're vicious and terrible but uh, but I, I'm gonna stick with it even though stegosauruses are amazing and uh, every you know I mean obviously there I, there's a hundred of them I could name but uh, but yeah that's what I'm gonna stick with that's a quality answer and I'm happy I'm, I'm really actually appreciating how much love the sauropods are getting today yeah it's it's it surprised me a little bit but they are they're so huge and awesome yeah. and and probably for something so massive 
totally delightful, and who doesn't love a gentle giant? I feel like you could just like grab their big old head and just <laughs> hug them, you know? That's what I feel like. At least that's the way I think. But uh, I'd rather run into one of those than a Tyrannosaur any day. Absolutely. <laughs> This isn't the end of the video, but this is the end of my trip. I just wanted to tell you how much fun I had at Animal Con USA. It was honestly better than I ever imagined it possibly could be. I can't believe how many incredible creators and just incredible people I got to meet. Thank you so much, Lori and Brian, for putting this on. Thank you, Gatorland, for hosting us afterward. That after party was a blast, and I, I mean, I, I've just, I've had the greatest time ever, and I will definitely be back next year. You should come too. But I also wanted to tell you that there is still time to get your own What's Your Favorite Dinosaur shirt, and people answer this question for me every time I wear it. I don't even need to bring it up, and aren't these the conversations you want to be having? Anyway, let's get back to Animal Con because we've got some more questions to ask. I am Casey with Garden State Tortoise. And I'm Chris with Garden State Tortoise. <laughs> and my question, this is hard hitting, important. What are your favorite dinosaurs and why? <gasps> oh, go ahead, go ahead. But I, oh, oh no, you go first, you go first. Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay? And pretty much my childhood, you know? Um, the T-Rex breakout scene in the original Jurassic Park ruined my life forever in an amazing way. Um, I will say this though. I hope T-Rex really looked more like that than what they're saying now. You, you know, like the heavier set with lips? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it kind of like, I guess I'd be scared, you know? But if it looked like it did in, in Jurassic Park, I'm running. You look over there, you're like, really? Yeah. Why don't you go on a diet and ditch the lips? I'm not scared of you at all. <laughs> exactly. I like it. I like that, it. Spot on, Clint. I would have to vote my favorite is the Triceratops. Um, again, Jurassic Park related. Ellie Sattler is my hero. Oh, yeah. If I could be any human in the world, I'd want to be her. And she is tenacious. <laughs> she is. She, and she better wash her hands. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chris Gillette. All right, and this is my hard hitting question What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh my god, probably Stegosaurus. Just, just original favorite when I was a little kid, you know. Um, I mean, obviously raptors and, you know, all the predatory stuff is super cool, but when I was a little kid, like, youngest, obsessed with Stegosaurus. Hi, I'm Juliet. And what is your favorite dinosaur? Uh, my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex because I love the duality of them being ridiculously short little arms, but also a mouth that can take anything down. Have you seen Meet the Robinsons? I don't, I know. Oh, go. I should. Yeah, drop everything, it watch it right now. Bye. <laughs> My name is Bill Strand. I'm with the Chameleon Academy. Now, this is the big question. Are you ready? Okay, all right. What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh, my goodness. Um, Deinonychus, because it was the first uh, dinosaur that I got involved with after being a kid where I loved Allosaurus. Also a good answer. So... I love that one because Deinonychus was like the only raptor that I could have named when I was a kid. Yep, and then yep. Jurassic Park came out and I learned about this Velociraptor, which was also in my books, but I'd never heard of it. And then later on, I discovered that the dinosaur in Jurassic Park was always Deinonychus. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I, I think that's not fair. That Velociraptor came in, this name came in and just took the, uh, the steam, the momentum from Deinonychus. And it, it was just a, a real bad thing that happened. I'm really sorry for Deinonychus, but, mm. you know, th this is show business. This is what happens. Would you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Corbin Maxi. I'm a YouTuber, content creator, and wildlife educator. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And because of Jurassic Park. I was obsessed with them, so, yep. That is the correct answer. Thank you. They, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is great. Okay, it's like the most, I'm sure everyone says T-Rex. Well, hello, my name is Alex and I run a channel called Leafy Street. 
What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Oh my gosh, that's so much pressure. You know, I really like velociraptors because when I was a kid, my parents had actually bought chicken bones, buried them in my yard, and told me they were real dinosaur bones, and I was obsessed with them for my entire childhood. Do you realize that those were real dinosaur bones? This is breaking news to me. This is great news, isn't it? <laughs> my whole life is now fulfilled. Yes! Hello, I'm Catalia. I'm Dan the Turtle Man. What are your favorite dinosaurs? Oh my gosh, I just forgot how to say it. I'm going to just go with Apache Lost... Do you know Apache what... Apache Lost... That one! Yeah! You, you have very, very good taste. And why? Thank you. Um, he looks really cool. That's uh, it. <laughs> agreed. That is that is the best reason to have a favorite dinosaur. The Oplerodon. And why is that? Because they had it in Charlie the Unicorn when I was a kid and it was funny. And also it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old YouTube video. That's like old, old, like, yeah. My name is Benny from Bionic Benny, and I specialize in reptiles and uh, predatory fish. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Favorite dinosaur, I was have to say, is a velociraptor, because they hunt in packs, I believe. Um, I'm not totally educated about dinosaurs, but I think they do, right? Now, I have an important follow-up to that one. Now, so now, when you say your favorite dinosaur is velociraptor, do you mean... Little Velociraptor mongoliensis, or the bigger one from Jurassic Park, which is actually called Deinonychus, but they called it Velociraptor in there. So I would have to go with the bigger one. Deinonychus! <laughs> Excellent choice. Hello, my name is Emzotic. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Um, the Velociraptor. No, no, the, the Velociraptor, the little Velociraptor mongoliensis from Mongolia, or the big one from Jurassic Park, which the is Deinonychus. From, from Giraffe's side. Deinonychus. I find that to be a perfect Greek second point. That's the one. Excellent. All righty. Well, would you mind introducing yourself to us? I'm Daenerys Mother of Spiders. And, and you produce some pretty rad spiders. Well, my, I have a huge, giant, super question for you. What? What's your favorite dinosaur and why? Long neck, because mm -hmm. they're pretty and they have a long neck. That is an excellent answer. I'm, I'm so glad to see some love for the sauropods. And that's the only dinosaur I really know. You can ask my brother, though. He knows everything about dinosaurs. He sounds like a pretty cool brother. Yes. That's how you know. Well, this has been an absolutely wonderful adventure. We had, honestly, the best time ever at Animal Con USA. We will definitely be back next year and any year in the future. I just want to thank Brian and Lori for all their hard work that they did to create this event. I'm, I just, I met so many incredible people forged so many new friendships, spent some wonderful quality time with some old friends. We had an unbelievable time at Gatorland. Thank you so much for being such wonderful hosts for us. And as always, what's your favorite dinosaur? As always, like and subscribe. I hope to see you real soon. <laughs>